Hey everyone, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up guys? So welcome to my Gemini Cancer Cuspers. Yes, this is a brand new series that I'm doing here. It was by a uh, very popular demand by the viewers here on the channel. So as a result, here I am. I mean, I'm here to serve, so here you go. Yeah, I've got some cusp readings for you all. So for Gemini and Cancer, you would be between June 17th and the 23rd. Yes, please keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are in fact fluid. Yeah, but just because this is dated for the month of March, it doesn't mean that it absolutely has to resonate for you in that month. Um, it can resonate for you at any moment. Whenever you are guided to watch this reading, then that is a message for you at that time. Also keep in mind that this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Yeah. So here's the thing. If you're new to the channel, then this isn't really going to be anything new for you or anything different. All right. But if you are an OG. Um, obviously, this is a new setup, and this is not my na my normal space. I am in on vacation right now. I'm staying with my friend in Puerto Rico, yes, which is fantastic. Um, but so, uh, if you watched the March monthly readings for this year, um, you saw, especially if you're an OG, you saw that I changed my reading style, and I'm going to do this reading here for you guys, very similar to that one, but I'm just going to be looking at the general energies for you. I'm not going to be getting into love this time. If you guys really want this, if it works well for you, um, then if you really like this, then maybe I'll, like later in the month, I'll do a love pass, I'll do a love messages for you guys. Um, but yeah, so this is just going to be general energy. We're just going to look at what's the general theme for you guys for my Gemini, uh, cancer cuspers. Um, and yeah, please let me know how you like it. Yeah. All right, cool. Let's get started. Hi spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Gemini Cancerian cuspers. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of March 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys. Um, okay, I'm going to give this five shuffles for you. I am seeing purple for you guys. Yeah. Now I do want to admit that it is a little bit, it's slightly influenced by this image that I was looking at that was telling me what actual dates are required or spe are um, specified as cusper dates. Um, and there was purple in the image for you guys, but also so what spirit is saying to me right now is there is a sense of higher wisdom and understanding that is coming into play here for you guys. Um, and it's interesting because what I'm using is this diagram that I'm using to, to tell me what the cusp dates would be, it also gives a classification of like what your cusp represents. I haven't been telling this to all, this, to all the other signs yet just because this is fairly new and I just want to get the message out there. But it seems relevant, so I'm going to say it. You guys are apparently, according to this diagram, you are the cusp of magic. Um, and with this purple energy, this higher wisdom coming through, that could be very relevant for you. Um, it could be that, you know, you're getting into, this is three, uh, you're getting into a sense of magical, mystery, magically inclined type things, or you're learning about the laws of the universe, or you're gaining some higher wisdom about life and how life is and, blah, and how to manifest things is what I heard specifically. Okay. Um, and so that's where that purple energy is coming from. And that's kind of where magic, the, a sense of magic could come from. Yeah. But the wisdom that comes from being a, a magical practitioner, being a sorcerer, a sorceress, a witch, a, a wizard, something like that. You know what I mean? Woo. And five. All right. I mean, it doesn't have to be that way. Just with this higher wisdom that's coming through for you, it could, it, I mean, it could be, it could translate into anything. But uh, for some of you, that's going to resonate somehow. Yeah. All right, cool. So what is on the story? What's in the story for my Gemini Cancerian cuspers here for March? Ooh. Okay, we have one card so far. Well, 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 would you look at that? Your first card out is the door to spirit. 
Yeah. All right. All right. Spiritual wisdom, higher understanding is coming into play here for you guys. I really love it. I really, really love it. And for some of you, um, you may have been really practically minded. Wow. Yeah. You may have been really practically minded in your life um, over this course of your life up until now. And so now you're starting to get into the higher wisdoms here and you're starting to, to dive maybe into more uh, esoteric stuff. Let's get one. Damn. Okay. Yeah. Let's get one last card here for my Gemini Cancerian Cuspers. And there it is. Wow. Overall energy is the second chakra, Archangel Ariel. All right. And it's interesting because Taurus can't, I'm sorry, Taurus Gemini Cuspers got this card as well. You have... Um, another angel, the third chakra, Archangel Shamuel. So what I heard when this card came out was that you are realigning your, your willpower with that of spirit. You're you're, some of you are really in a place of aligning your willpower with spirit here. This is definitely a spiritual thing because not only do you have the door to spirit, but you also have the temple path. So some of you are really starting to embark on more of a spiritual minded point of view, spiritually oriented life, walking more of a spiritual path. That doesn't have to mean that, and this, I think this is some, something that some of you are starting to understand, which is why it's making it easier for you to do this in your life right now. But that just because you're walking a spiritual path doesn't mean you have to be walking around in like, uh, 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 um, uh, what is it? parachute pants and like yoga garb or looking like a yogi or like looking like a monk or living it going off uh, and living in a, in, a, in a temple somewhere to, to meditate for the rest of your life no spirituality is anything spirituality can be expressed and practiced in any way it just needs to you just need to make sure that it resonates with you that it's something that you feel comfortable with so it's something that is right for you but you but but what you need to understand and what I guess many of you are starting to come to the understanding of is that spirit is, in, is within everything, is within everyone, okay? So you don't have to be doing anything, anything overtly religious or overtly spiritual in this case in order to be walking a spiritual path, all right? So with door to spirit in your top row here, you also have walking away and blossoming abundance. So for some of you, whatever it is you're walking away from, um, and I'm hearing that's something very, very materialistic in nature, it's allowing you to open up to your birthright as an abundant being. Because for some of you, you're no longer holding on to extreme materialism. You're no longer clutching your, your, your change purses and counting all your pennies and being a miser or being overly materialistic and, and kind of hoarding or valuing materialism over spirit. When you put more value into the spiritual world or the energetic realms, then your ability to in, increase your, in, your, your abundance explodes because now you're working with the actual energy that brings that material into your life to begin with. And I feel like that's also part of what you guys are starting to understand, whoever is resonating with this message. Like, let's take money for an example. Money is currency, sure. It is how we support ourselves in this world. It's how we live our lives. It's how we enjoy ourselves. But ultimately, money is just an energy. And the more that you are free flowing and open with that energy, the easier that money will, or that easier, the easier that energy will come to you. Okay. So many of you are walking away from a lot of things that have been holding you back from this abundance, from the doorway to spirit. And in many cases, some of you are really like, you've been in this cage for a long time and now you're finally setting yourselves free. That's beautiful. At the bottom here, we have caring connections, the temple path, and third chakra, Archangel Shamuel. And what I'm really getting with this, I'm going to look into caring connections a little bit deeper because it's, it's escaping me a little bit. But what I am picking up from this is that there are some of you out there that are going through this transformation and, and opening or stepping through this door to spirit that are more focused on having or providing caring connections with other people. I feel like there are some of you out there that were extremely materialistic and you valued your possessions over 
the connections that you had with people and your, your, your family relationships, your friendships, even if you had a romantic partner, they suffered for it. But now that you are in essence on this temple path or on this spiritual path, your focus in terms of your connections with other people are becoming much more caring and much more compassionate because your, your, your solar plexus or your willpower is being realigned to something more beneficial for you, but not only for you, but also something more beneficial for the greater good of all. As the overall energy, you do have the second chakra and Archangel Ariel. So there is a lot of pain body or a lot of emotional trauma that's being cleansed and cleared, or you're becoming more compassionate is what I'm hearing. Again, I feel a very strong sense that you are releasing ties towards materialism and you're becoming much more spiritually oriented. And that's a really beautiful thing. That is a really beautiful thing. Okay. All right. So let's, let's dive into the tarot here. I want to look at caring connections for you. Caring connections for my Gemini Cancerian cuspers here. One last shuffle for you. All righty. Caring connections. What is this caring connections, please, spirit, for my Gemini Cancerian cuspers? Woo wee. Oh. Okay. Overall, damn. You have the six of pentacles as your overall energy here. This is literally carrying connections. This is you being re reciprocal, reciprocity. And honestly, what I'm getting with this specifically, and I guess this just would be for some of you, this is just a specific message, or maybe you're on the receiving end of this. But I get very strongly that there are some individuals out there that are learning to be more giving with their money or their finances or their resources Because somebody here has gone through an activation. Page of Wands with the Two of Pentacles, the Page of Swords, and then also none other than the Page of Cups. Okay, you have the, I'm sorry, did I say the Page of Wands? It's the Knight of Wands, the Page of Swords, the Page of Cups, and the Two of Pentacles. So Gemini, there you are with this Page, I'm sorry, with this here, with the Page of Swords. Cancer, there you could be with the Page of Cups. All right. But there's definitely a, a reactivation, a new activation, awareness, wisdom, um, maybe even light working energy. If you if you resonate with that, that is opening up here for you and it's allowing you to be more caring and compassionate with the page of cups there, almost in a. Um, apologetic or uh, reconciliatory energy. I kind of feel like you might want to, especially if you're the person that's giving more, you know, that might have been more um, um, emotionally unavailable and really just more materialistic minded. Now, you may be wanting to, you know, make up for it with the Page of Cups here. Two of Pentacles, however, is greater balance. This is a balance between spirit and matter. Okay, this is you learning how, with the Page of Swords even, learning how to balance spirit with matter. Okay, this all came out for carrying connections. Um, and then you have three more. Wow, Gemini Cancerian, look at you. The Magician, the Ace of Wands, and the Nine of Cups. The Ace of Wands is, an, a, a, is a new sense of inspiration, a new life path even that you're on. That's what I'm getting specifically for you guys. And thus, you're in the driver's seat with the Magician card here, but also... This new venture or this new whatever it is you're doing is going to bring you or maybe it are, you have already seen that it has or it does bring you great satisfaction, maybe even more satisfaction than you ever had when you were more materially minded. Now, don't, don't, don't get me wrong. You're not with this, with this, with the sacral chakra here, with your energy being um, realigned to a more spiritually minded frame of mind or point of view, I should say, that doesn't mean that you're completely renouncing the physical. That does not mean that you do not still recognize the beauty and the necessity 
in the physical. But what it does say is that you're starting to learn the beauty and recognize the beauty and the necessity in the spiritual as well. And thus, with the two of pentacles here, you have a greater form of balance between spirit and matter. This is great. I want to look at third chakra here for you. Let's talk about that a little bit here. Ah, okay. Overall energy is the page, I'm not, I'm sorry, the, the um, ace of pentacles. So a brand new start and a brand new opportunity. I just, I, I, I'm kind of seeing whomever this is resonating for, and this is probably someone more on the masculine side of things or someone that just has ex, ex, um, brought forward or embodied or learned to embody more masculine or even miserly energies. I really feel like this is your hand extending out and giving with this ace of pentacles here. But also what this represents is you being handed a brand new opportunity, a new lease on life, you could say. But, but um, clarifying this third chakra with Archangel Shamuel or your, uh, your willpower, your solar plexus, you have the four of cups, the hierophant and the star. So the Four of Cups, interesting. What I'm getting with this, you guys, is that the Four of Cups represents this opportunity that spirit has been handing you or trying to give you over and over and over again, but you kept denying it. You kept saying, no, I don't want to do that because you were really wrapped up in patriarchal energy or maybe twisted masculine energy with the Hierophant here. But ultimately, what the Hierophant represents in this circumstance is teaching and learning. So, this, so, so whatever experiences that you kind of weren't allowing yourself to take up on, right? That taught you something. And thus, it's bringing you greater healing with the star. And so now you're ready to follow. I want to get a little bit more on this. Now you're ready to follow, the f with, uh, follow in faith the guidance from the universe. And it could very well be that some of, you may have, some of you may have found religion. Maybe you were an atheist at one point or just a non-believer or you, were, you just didn't believe in spirituality or religion. But something changed within you. You were saved. Um, <clears throat> you, know, you had a, a come to Jesus moment maybe. Maybe I, I am picking up some of you may have actually found religion, but it's resonating with you in a very, very positive way. It's helping you heal and grow and expand your horizons. It's helping you be more compassionate. That could definitely be what this temple path is. Okay. I want to, I want to clarify a little bit more and then we're going to close out the reading with uh, some Moonology Oracle, but I want to look at why the Hierophant is here for you. Why is the Hierophant here for my Gemini, uh, Gemini Cancerian cuspers? Why? Why is the Hierophant here? Gemini Cancer Cusper. Okay. All right. It was a Marjorie energy that, that saved you. In a weird way, it saved you because it helped you open up. It helped you learn to be compassionate. You have the four of pentacles at the bottom of the deck, and that is the official miser card, right? With that, though, you have the ace of cups, the six of cups, and the three of cups. So this is definitely giving me an energy of community, and that's been something that was coming through a lot for, for throughout this reading. There's a sense of camaraderie or a sense of community that is being instilled within you right now that is helping you be more caring and compassionate and is a byproduct of you walking this more spiritual path or maybe even religious path because... Um, you know, with the Three of Cups, that can represent a religious group, your church group, your prayer group, your choir group, um, your, 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 uh, your temple group. I mean, the, 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 I don't know, Sunday school, or I don't know what it is, what the equivalent is for people of the Jew, Jewish, Jewish faith. 
um, uh, but what, like your like your Torah class, if you're pra if you're becoming, if you're looking to get um, ba or bat mitzvah, um, you know that kind of thing. That's that's the type of community that I'm seeing here with the three of cups, with the ace of cups also. Well, I'm sorry, with the three and the six of cups. Well, with the ace of cups also, this is finally accepting that cup being handed to you for whatever reason. And this doesn't have to be religious in nature. There could have just been some crazy moment that opened your eyes and finally got you to agree to give this another shot or to take a new a leap of faith or to take a new path or to start really connecting spiritually. Okay? This is great. This is really good. So let's close this out for you guys with some oracle guidance or closing message from the Moonology Oracle. Oops. Let's try that again. Okay. One last shuffle. For my Gemini Cancerian cuspers here. Here we go. Closing message, please, spirit. All right, one more, please, spirit. One more, please, spirit. Help me clarify this. One more. <laughs> one more, please. Just one more for my Gemini Cancerian cuspers. One more, please. Oh, all right. Overall energy now is okay. You are very close to achieving your goal. And now it makes sense why these other cards were coming out because the first two cards were nothing is yet set in stone and your dreams need a practical plan. But then also what came with that was surrender to the divine, which it seems like you're doing here and a new start is coming. All right. So keep that in mind, guys. I really don't know what that means for any of you here, but that will resonate for you, okay? So just keep that in mind. Overall energy from the Moonology is you are very close to achieving your goal, yes? You have nothing is yet set in stone because your dreams need a practical plan, but keep in mind that you need to keep surrendering to the divine because a new start is coming. Whatever it is you're working towards here, Gemini Cancerian, it's coming, all right, surrender to the, the, to the divine, allow the divine to help you to create this practical plan so that you can bring whatever it is you're working towards into fruition. Yes? All right, guys, I'm gonna leave it there. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you would like a look at your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. But with that said, I hope you guys have a great month and I look forward to connecting with you again very, very soon. Yeah, take care. Mwah! Bye.